Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general tarot forecast for November. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media, ways to tip or donate. My uh, wish list is down there. There's tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, really means a lot to me. So thank you so much. And thank you for everybody for supporting the channel, being a part of its growth, and um, for all the support. So thank you, thank you. I couldn't do without you guys. So thank you. All right. So this is for Scorpio general tarot forecast just going to see what comes out could be love it could be career finance could be something in your family circle friend circle i don't know whatever comes out we'll take so or it could be a combination of readings uh messages so let's see what we get only take what resonates throw away the rest um i could even pick up an energy of someone around you going through something uh and it could be about them and not you, but maybe it affects you in some way. So please keep that in mind. I can pick up past, present, future. Um, so like I said, take what resonates, throw away the rest. It's a general collective reading, not a personal reading. All right. So Scorpio, let's see. Oh, Pisces wanted to fall out and I just got Pisces for the Virgo reading. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. So what may some Scorpions be dealing with in the month of November? Kind of too many. I just want one for Scorpio. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. Let's see what we have. Air energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have air heavily in your chart. Know someone that has air heavily in their chart. But air is all about the thoughts, the mind, ideas, education, um, truth, clarity, epiphanies, speaking with truth and clarity, and that sort of energy. So, see what's going on with that air energy. Having truth and clarity about something. Hmm. It can also be an energy of like standing up for yourself, speaking your truths, not taking any BS, cutting away things no longer serving you. Oh, we'll see. Open, honest communication. Having, you know, clear thoughts, ideas. All right. So let's see what's going on with this air energy. So let's get an opening message for you for Scorpio. What's Scorpio's opening message? Spirit, please. What do they need to know for the month of November? Okay, this card went flying. So we have moving forward fearlessly. Wow, so that's your message. Opening message is to move forward fearlessly and doing it with a clear, open mind. Not letting anything stop you, get in your way. Standing up for yourself. Not taking any BS. Telling it like it is kind of energy. Being clear in your thoughts, in your mind, and having that clarity. All right. You see the butterfly wings there for transformation also. That purplish color, the manifestation, it's more like a maroon color, but all right, so let's get more. Let's get your energy. What kind of energy is Scorpio in Ooh, for November spirit, please? We have one card. That's too many. It's too many. One card for Scorpio's main energy for, let me take that one. Problem resolved. Okay. And butterfly wings again for transformation. So problem resolved. So whatever you've been going through, whatever problem you've had, if it's not resolved yet, I think the spirit will let you know. Things will transform naturally is what I'm getting. And the problem problem will just be resolved. And it'll be very clear. Very clear there with the air energy. And then you'll just be able to move forward fearlessly. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. We have magic of nature. So that could be um, a message for some of you that maybe you need to get out and um, outside more. If you're cooped up in the house a lot or if you have a job where you're inside all day long, uh, this is telling you maybe you need to get grounded. 
by going outside, being in nature, going for a walk, you know, even just sitting outside in the sun. Uh, if it's warm where you are, take your shoes, socks off, put your feet in the grass and let, you know, let just the magic of nature, earth, absorb your energy. If there's any negative energy or whatever problems you're having, it'll help to ground you and absorb that energy and alleviate some of that for you. It may bring you a little bit of peace. Because you see here, a little bit of stormy clouds there, but you see the sun trying to peek through. So I feel like some of you need to spend more time outdoors. All right. So, and you see like this um, a bubble. So maybe you've been keeping yourself in like a bubble for some reason. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Okay, let's give Scorpio. Whoops, okay, well, I guess that's clarifying that card. <laughs> so we have the Queen of Swords. So, and there's that air energy. Libra Gemini Aquarius, again, being in that Queen of Swords energy. And I know you're an water sign, doesn't matter. You could still take on the energy of the Queen of Swords of being very open and honest and truthful, uh, clear cut communication, having clarity in your thoughts, your mind, not standing, not taking any BS, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is kind of energy. And spirit also has me read the queen of swords as divine energy. Like whatever, like divine is gonna help resolve this problem for you naturally as with the magic of nature there. And I had said that before I drew that magic of nature card. So yeah, I just thought of that. So, <laughs> wow. So yes, yeah, spirit confirming that, that divine energy here, the queen of swords energy will somehow resolve whatever problem you're going through now, let it resolve naturally and the problem will be resolved and you can move forward fearlessly. So don't try to, you know, be all caught up in your head with like that air energy. Just clear your mind. As I said, get out in nature. You know, find some peace and harmony. Just try to let it go. And just like let divine nature, divine course, just let it be. Just let it be. And I feel like it'll resolve whatever, whatever your situation is. Let's get a couple more. So we have the three of swords. So yeah, something, oh, your energy again. So something hurtful may have happened to you. This is pain, hurt, something that hurt your heart. Painful energy here. Something something painful hurt your heart. Some sort of problem or something uh, here that happened that was really painful and hurtful to you. Whatever your situation was here. So we have the tower. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, you could have had a falling out with somebody. You could have had a fight. You could have had an argument. Maybe harsh words were said. Um, with this energy. So the tower, you know, can be Aries, doesn't have to be. So it's an energy of, you know, something crumbling down or something explosive or something. It could be a surprise or just like an aha moment. But what I'm getting with this, especially with this three swords here, you could have had, I'm not getting like a physical fight, but just maybe, um, you know, maybe somebody said something to you also with this queen of swords energy that was just very like too blunt and um, it really hurt your heart, really hurt you deeply. And it caused this tower moment about this person. Like, I can't believe they just said that to me, uh, you know, and maybe even caused a, like a verbal fight between the two of you. And it really, really, something really, really hurt you deeply. But I think also with that divine queen of swords energy that somehow this will be resolved. And then you can move forward from it and just leave it. You can just leave it. So I think with the ear energy, you know, that it's all about your mind. So you may be like mentally trapped by whatever happened here. But it's telling you to move forward, forward fearlessly from that. Just kind of release it. Make peace with it. Let it go, you know. If, you know, like being trapped in that bubble, just just pop it. Let it go. And let, let karma work itself out or whatever here. So let's get um, a couple cards, Princess of Cups. Okay, so somebody could apologize here. Water energy, that's your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. 
and this is uh, the Page of Cups. So this is actually communication. It could be, you know, loving, compassionate, peaceful communication. And somebody may make the effort to apologize here. So this person and with the tower, they may just surprise you with an apology and come forward with the communication and say, hey, look, I'm sorry. And really have heartfelt communication and apologies to you. And I think it's going to shock you with the tower moment. But I also think the tower moment was some sort of hurtful, something hurtful between you. Could have been a family member, a friend, co-worker. Could have been anybody. The Six of Cups. So, yeah, it could have been somebody either you worked with for a very, very long time or a family member or a childhood friend. Six of Cups energy here. Your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is things from the past. So, yeah, somebody you've known either for a very, very long time since childhood or like a family member or a childhood friend or something or someone you've worked with for a very long time. Maybe you've had the same job since you were a teenager or something. So... Whatever happened here was between somebody I feel like you loved dearly. So it's either it could be a sibling, a cousin, long time, lifelong friend or something here. Something explosive happened here. I, mean, I don't know if it was a third party situation. The three swords there can indicate sometimes third party. So I don't know if like somebody cheated on somebody with somebody else's like spouse or something. Uh, I don't know. Or there was just an unexpected argument or something between you and a loved one, like a family member or old childhood friend or something that really, really broke your heart. But someone's apologizing here. Someone's apologizing. And divine might have led this person to apologize to you. Uh, somehow made them uh, come forward to apologize. All right, so let's get your actual situation see what this was all about what was this tower moment all about what was this heartbreak all about okay so we have the nine of swords so this is stress fear worry anxiety air energy again so there's the air energy stress worry fear anxiety over something here well, i think over the whole situation it just uh puts you in this state of just being high stressed and having fear for some reason or just a lot of anxiety worry fear kind of energy because of this and then you have the prince of cups so yeah this is action and movement now so you have the movement you know not only you know maybe calling you and telling you hey i'm sorry but actually coming together in physical like i say physical form but that doesn't make any sense but coming together physically and actually taking that movement forward towards you you know, maybe saying, hey, let's meet up so we could talk and coming in with that peaceful resolution and apology. Somehow divine, divine energy brought this all in. So whatever happened here, you know, maybe they felt guilty for some, for some reason. Yeah, five of pentacles energy here. So earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But yeah, feeling, feeling the loss, the lack, heartbroken, feeling lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold. So maybe, I mean, if it wasn't you, maybe they had all this stress and anxiety from what happened and realized what they'd done. And now, like, you could have shut them out, and now they felt that loss, you know, of, like, my best friend shut me out. And I, I just, I can't take, you know, not having my best friend or a family member or whatever. So I'm going to make the effort here to come forward and apologize because this is someone that I love dearly, and I don't want to lose them. Wow, so let's get, wow, that, I feel like heaviness in my chest, so I feel like it's a very heavy situation. Uh, only you know what happened. Um, I don't know what the fight or argument was about, if it was that, or if somebody caught somebody cheating with like their significant other. Four of Pentacles energy in reverse. So yeah, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody doesn't want to hold back any longer. They can't hold back any longer. They can't hold their feelings in any longer. Um, so yeah, somebody can't hold back and hold their feelings in any longer. They need to come forward and apologize because they're tired of feeling left out and feeling um, abandoned, left out in the cold. You know, having a loss of this 
friendship or whatever it was here. We get one more, one more judgment. Yeah, somebody, and this is your energy, Scorpio. So I think you're going to, you know, think about this and make a judgment call on this. This is forgiveness, so you may forgive this person. They may ask for forgiveness, and this is resurrection of the friendship over whatever it is. So this could be resurrected. Apologies could be accepted. Um, forgiveness can be had. And you will either make a judgment call on this, or this is them making the judgment call to finally not hold back anymore, and any longer and just take that movement forward to uh, contact you and have a conversation and apologize. So there'll be a lot of uh, judgment calls made here. Could be forgiveness, resurrection of this friendship or whatever it is. And uh, moving forward from that. Because we did have here, uh, what was this one here? Problem resolved. So whatever the problem is here, I do feel it's going to be resolved. So I think it's because somebody takes action here to come forward and apologize and resurrect. This is resurrection with the judgment card this friendship or this family dynamic or whatever it is here. All right, so let's get your advice, Scorpio. So the magic of nature, I mean, just extra message there to, you know, don't think about this so much. Let nature, nature take its course, get out, ground yourself, go out and uh, get in the sun and, you know, go for a walk. All right, so let's get one more, one more, actually two more. Okay, so for your advice, we have the King of Wands and we have the Devil. So yeah, the Devil, Capricorn, the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. So the Devil is very toxic energy. So, and the King of Wands, though, moves forward, forward fearlessly, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. It's a go-getter kind of energy. They don't give up. So whatever toxic energy happened here, this is telling you not to give up on this connection. Whatever it is for you, if it's a friend, a family member, a lover, something here, this is telling you to keep moving forward fearlessly and not give up on yourself, your life, because of this whole situation, whatever this toxic energy was. It's a strong connection, strong bond, whether it's a best friend, like I said, or something like that could be a lover, could be a family member. It is someone you'll be connected to forever. Well, not forever, but there is a strong connection with the devil energy, and there was toxic energy. But the king of wands, you know, you can kind of move forward and try to overcome that. Don't let it hold you back. So, wow. So clarifying that, we have two major arcana. We have, so this is like two opposing energies. We have <laughs> the Hierophant and the Devil. Wow. So with the Fool. So this is resetting at zero. This is resetting everything at zero and starting over and taking a leap of faith and just cleaning this, wiping the slate clean, resetting everything back to zero and just starting over, starting fresh. So you have the Hierophant here and the Fool. So I feel like the King, I feel like that all will overcome this toxic energy. So, you know, the Hierophant here, someone's going to do what's moral, just, and right, the right thing to do um, with the Hierophant energy. Again, this can be about commitment marriage. Some of you, this ha may have to do with an actual marriage. But this is, you know, resetting and starting over at zero, wiping the slate clean. I don't get the feeling like some of you can just, like, leave the situation and uh, go off on your own. I'm not really getting that. The Hierophant's Taurus, the Fool is Aquarius, the Devil's Capricorn, King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius. But I mean, it doesn't have to be. It's all just energy. So for your advice is you have to keep moving forward fearlessly with drive, ambition, passion. Don't let this toxic negative energy hold you back. Do what's moral, just and right. Wipe the slate clean. Start over, start fresh, reset everything back to zero. All right, so let's see what the outcome will be. Outcome will be for you, Scorpio. Okay. So let's get one more. 
this one. I'll put that one there. Get one more. That's one more. Okay. So your possible outcome in this is the Five of Swords in reverse. So the Five of Swords is a very egotistical energy, getting ahead at all means, uh, very selfish energy. But I feel like in reverse, um, I, f I feel like, well, let's do the clarifiers. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a brand new beginning. There's stability brought back, brand new beginning. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn doesn't have to be. The Swords is that air energy. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And now we have Temperance in Reverse. So, now these fell on the floor. So, I feel like this needs to be upright. So, Temperance here is like balancing things out. Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be. So, this is uh, patience. So, needing patience in this situation. You know, don't get in the energy of being egotistical and um like selfish you know just take it slow with this ace of pentacles a brand new stable beginning growth abundance prosperity long term so i feel like this connection will be back on track for the long term uh growth abundance st stability back in having patience balancing things out divinely guided energy here so i really feel like especially with the queen of swords that was up there Divine is going to help energy, universe will help to balance this out and uh, resolve this problem. And then you can just move on fearlessly from it. You could just move on like it never happened. Or maybe not like it never happened, but just like be able to just move on from it. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the magician. So, you know, manifesting the brand new beginning. So we have Ace of Pentacles and the magician. So Gemini Virgo here doesn't have to be, but yep, manifesting a brand new beginning, truth, clarity, passion, love, compassion, peace, harmony, stability, everything with the magician moving forward. Princess of Pentacles, so it's a message. So here is like the actual, again, we have the page over there with the apology, and this is like a stable offer to move forward, to leave it behind. Can we grow from this? Can we move on from this? Can we strengthen our bonds once again? Can we work on it? Very stable, secure offer. And bringing balance. Bringing balance back into the situation. Balancing things out. Earth energy again. Prince of Wands. Fire energy here. Taking the actual movement. Moving forward fearlessly again. Drive ambition. Courage, strength. Moving forward fearlessly. Sagittarius energy here with the centaur. There's the eight of swords with the mental blockage. I had felt that with, um, what was that card here? Uh, we had mental blockages somewhere, I thought. I don't know. But anyway, you know, getting out of the mental blockages here, you know, making the decision here to get yourself out of this mental blockage thoughts in your head. And being in your energy with the Queen of Cups, that's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Being in that, specifically Scorpio. There's a Scorpio right there. Scorp uh, yeah. So, being loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, giving, forgiving energy. Just being in your energy. And being stable, sturdy, grounded, independent, taking care of yourself. Being back in your energy. Deciding to, getting, to get out of that mental blockage. And just move forward fearlessly with drive ambition, bring balance back in. Can we work on this? Can we, you know, messages of working on it and moving ahead and manifesting that brand new beginning. So it all looks good. I mean, some of you could be going solo or I don't get that energy because we didn't get justice here. We didn't get like 10 of pentacles reverse, anything like that. I feel like the, you know, divine energy somehow universe is going to have this person i mean you are them take you know the initiative to come forward and mend the fences mend the situation apologies conversations strengthening the bonds once again starting over is clean look you know a clean slate all right so 
Let's see. Let's get some extra messages for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. You will get a general tarot forecast like this. You'll get a love connection energy reading. You'll get a singles reading. Who's coming towards you? When, where, how? What kind of connection will it be? And messages from your spirit guides. What you need to know this time. Spirit messages. So if you would like all that, please subscribe. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Those are all monthly. All right, so let's see if we have any extra messages for Scorpio. Any extra messages for Scorpio spirit, please. Okay. And we have Lord Ganesh. Nice. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Oh, my God. Really? Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Didn't I not just say this through this whole reading? That divine energy source will wipe the slate clean here, will help move this forward. And here is the confirmation of that. Wow. And you may have the spirit of Lord Ganesh helping in this situation in some way. Or maybe you need to um, research on Lord Ganesh and pray for its uh, divine uh, intervention, divine assistance here in this connection or whatever it is for you wow obstacles are being removed problem resolved moving forward fearlessly wow i was actually confirming what i just said through the whole reading thank you spirit they tend to do that all the time especially if i get a message and i don't say it the next card will come out will be exactly the message that was in my head and I didn't say it. Spirit will say, well, if you didn't want to say it, then I'm just going to give you the card and then you have to say it. So I'm learning to just say whatever. So, all right. What else here? Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So exactly. And, um, have that energy here too of not letting this get you down of still moving forward fearlessly and not being trapped in your head and in your mind keep your focused intention on your life what you need to do moving forward and somehow all this will manifest and problem will be resolved mother mary love and peace seriously spirit let go of the need to be right choose peace mother healing is possible at this time so this may be another um ascended master here that you need to uh, pray to help for assistance guidance love and peace will be brought back into this situation wow all right what else freya phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released so yeah this cycle i feel like this falling out cycle will be released it's just like a phase here and this is also, you know, listening to your gut, your intuition with the moon energy there. And, uh, you know, illusions will be released. Um, and you'll have a new beginning in this situation. So that's just confirming that. So I don't know. Let's see if there's one more. Is there anything else? The Scorpio. I don't think so. Okay. So let's see what we have here. White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So that could be a significant message for some. Um, if you felt you wanted to learn about your ancestors or something like that. Or you could come from a Native American culture. Um, or if you're wondering about your ancestry or whatever here. It's telling you maybe it's something you should do if you really feel, in, feel inclined to do that. Um, and it may help you to heal some you know repeating wounds or patterns within your lineage your family or something like that could stem way back as far as your ancestors so that could be a separate message there and we have Gaia under here with earth connection be mindful of the planet come back to earth and stay grounded and I had said that over here magic of nature that some of you need to go back out in nature and ground yourself and then we have divine 
alchemy, holy amethyst, move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. And I had said, I felt like divine energy here is going to intervene in this situation and move it along. So all this there is coinciding with your messages. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to end it there. Good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, and if you do subscribe, thank you. I forgot to say that. Um, as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.